In mathematics, the modular group is the projective special linear group PSL of 2 by 2 matrices with integer coefficients and unit determinant. The matrices A and A are identified. The modular group acts on the upper half of the complex plane by fractional linear transformations, and the name modular group comes from the relation to moduli spaces and not from modular arithmetic. Definition The modular group gamma is the group of linear fractional transformations of the upper half of the complex plane which have the form where a, b, c, and d are integers, and add minus b c equals 1. The group operation is function composition. This group of transformations is isomorphic to the projective special linear group PSL, which is the quotient of the two-dimensional special linear group SL over the integers by its center I minus I. In other words, PSL consists of all matrices where A, B, C, and D are integers. Add minus B, C equals 1 and pairs of matrices A and minus A are considered to be identical. The group operation is the usual multiplication of matrices. Some authors define the modular group to be PSL, and still others define the modular group to be the larger group SL. Some mathematical relations require the consideration of the group GL of matrices with determinant plus or minus 1 is a subgroup of this group. Similarly, PGL is the quotient group GL I minus I. A 2 times 2 matrix with unit determinant is a symplectic matrix, and thus SL equals SP, the symplectic group of 2 by 2 matrices. Number theoretic properties. The unit determinant of implies that the fractions A, B, A, C, C, D and B, D are all irreducible, that is have no common factors. More generally, if P, Q is an irreducible fraction, then is also irreducible. Any pair of irreducible fractions can be connected in this way, i.e., for any pair P, Q and R per second of irreducible fractions. There exist elements such that elements of the modular group provide a symmetry on the two-dimensional lattice. Let n be two complex numbers whose ratio is not real. Then the set of points is a lattice of parallelograms on the plane. A different pair of vectors and will generate exactly the same lattice if and only if for some matrix in S asterisk L. It is for this reason that doubly periodic functions, such as elliptic functions, possess a modular group symmetry. The action of the modular group on the rational numbers can most easily be understood by envisioning a square grid, with grid point corresponding to the fraction P, Q. An irreducible fraction is one that is visible from the origin. The action of the modular group on a fraction never takes a visible to a hidden one, and vice versa. If and a two successive convergence of a continued fraction, then the matrix belongs to S asterisk L. In particular, if B C minus add equals 1 for positive integers A, B, C and D with a less than B and C less than D then A, B and C, D will be neighbors in the fairy sequence of order max. Important special cases of continued fraction convergence include the Fibonacci numbers and solutions to Paul's equation. In both cases, the numbers can be arranged to form a semigroup subset of the modular group. Group theoretic properties Presentation The modular group can be shown to be generated by the two transformations so that every element in the modular group can be represented by the composition of powers of S and T. Geometrically, S represents inversion in the unit circle followed by reflection with respect to the origin, while T represents a unit translation to the right. The generators S and T obey the relations S2 equals 1 and 3 equals 1. It can be shown that these are a complete set of relations, so the modular group has the presentation. This presentation describes the modular group as the rotational triangle group, and it thus maps onto all triangle groups by adding the relation Tn equals 1, which occurs for instance in the congruence subgroup gamma. Braid group The braid group B3 is the universal central extension of the modular group. 
with these sitting as lattices inside the universal covering group. Further, the modular group has a trivial center, and thus the modular group is isomorphic to the quotient group of B3 modulo its center, equivalently, to the group of inner automorphisms of B3. The braid group B3 in turn is isomorphic to the knot group of the trefoil knot. Quotients The quotients by congruence subgroups are of significant interest. Other important quotients are the triangle groups, which correspond geometrically to descending to a cylinder, quotienting the x-coordinate mod n, as tn equals, is the group of icosahedral symmetry, and the triangle group is the cover for all Hurwitz surfaces. Relationship to hyperbolic geometry the modular group is important because it forms a subgroup of the group of isometries of the hyperbolic plane. If we consider the upper half plane model H of hyperbolic plane geometry, then the group of all orientation preserving isometries of H consists of all Mobius transformations of the form where A, B, C, and D are integers, instead of the usual real numbers, and add minus B, C equals 1. Put differently, the group PSL acts on the upper half plane H according to the following formula. This action is faithful. Since PSL is a subgroup of PSL, the modular group is a subgroup of the group of orientation preserving isometries of H. Tessellation of the hyperbolic plane The modular group gamma acts on H as a discrete subgroup of PSL, i.e., for each Z in H we can find a neighborhood of Z which does not contain any other element of the orbit of Z. This also means that we can construct fundamental domains, which contain exactly one representative from the orbit of every Z in H. There are many ways of constructing a fundamental domain, but a common choice is the region bounded by the vertical lines Re equals 1 half and Re equals minus 1 half, and the circle Z equals 1. This region is a hyperbolic triangle. It has vertices at 1 half plus i square root 3 halves and minus 1 half plus i square root 3 halves, where the angle between its sides is pi 3, and a third vertex at infinity, where the angle between its sides is 0. By transforming this region in turn by each of the elements of the modular group, a regular tessellation of the hyperbolic plane by congruent hyperbolic triangles is created. Note that each such triangle has one vertex either at infinity or on the real axis m equals zero. This tiling can be extended to the Poincaré disk, where every hyperbolic triangle has one vertex on the boundary of the disk. The tiling of the Poincaré disk is given in a natural way by the J invariant, which is invariant under the modular group, and attains every complex number once in each triangle of these regions. This tessellation can be refined slightly, dividing each region into two halves. By adding an orientation reversing map, the colors then correspond to orientation of the domain. Adding in and taking the right half of the region R0 yields the usual tessellation. This tessellation first appears in print in, where it is credited to Richard Dedekind in reference to. The map of groups can be visualized in terms of this tiling, as depicted in the video at right. Congruence subgroups. Important subgroups of the modular group gamma, called congruence subgroups, are given by imposing congruence relations on the associated matrices. There is a natural homomorphism SLSL given by reducing the entries modulo n. This induces a homomorphism on the modular group PSL PSL. The kernel of this homomorphism is called the principal congruence subgroup of level n, denoted gamma. We have the following short exact sequence. Being the kernel of a homomorphism gamma is a normal subgroup of the modular group gamma. The group gamma is given as the set of all modular transformations for which a d plus or, or minus 1 and bc0. The principal congruence subgroup of level 2, gamma, is also called the modular group lambda. Since PSL is isomorphic to S3, lambda is a subgroup of index 6. The group lambda consists of all modular transformations for which a and d are odd and b and c are even.
Another important family of congruence subgroups are the modular group γ0 defined as the set of all modular transformations for which C0, or equivalently, as the subgroup whose matrices become upper triangular upon reduction modulo n. Note that γ is a subgroup of γ0. The modular curves associated with these groups are an aspect of monstrous moonshine for a prime number p. The modular curve of the normalizer is genus 0 if and only if p divides the order of the monster group, or equivalently, if p is a supersingular prime. Dyadic monoid One important subset of the modular group is the dyadic monoid, which is the monoid of all strings of the form stk stm stn. For positive integers k, m, n, this monoid occurs naturally in the study of fractal curves, and describes the self-similarity symmetries of the Cantor function, Minkowski's question mark function, and the Koch curve, each being a special case of the general de Rham curve. The monoid also has higher dimensional linear representations, for example, the n equals 3 representation can be understood to describe the self-symmetry of the Blimange curve, maps of the torus. The group GL is the linear maps preserving the standard lattice Z2, and SL is the orientation preserving maps preserving this lattice. They thus descend to self-homeomorphisms of the torus, and in fact map isomorphically to the mapping class group of the torus meaning that every self-homeomorphism of the torus is isotopic to a map of this form. The algebraic properties of a matrix as an element of GL correspond to the dynamics of the induced map of the torus. Heck groups The modular group can be generalized to the heck groups, named for e. Eric Heck, and defined as follows. The heck group HQ is the discrete group generated by where the modular group gamma is isomorphic to H3 and they share properties and applications. For example, just as one has the free product of cyclic groups more generally one has which corresponds to the triangle group. There is similarly a notion of principal congruence subgroups associated to principal ideals in Z lambda. For small values of Q, one has History. The modular group and its subgroups were first studied in detail by Richard Dedekind and by Felix Klein as part of his Erlangen program in the 1870s. However, the closely related elliptic functions were studied by Joseph Louis Lagrange in 1785, and further results on elliptic functions were published by Carl Gustav Jacob Jacobi and Niels Henrik Abel in 1827.